Hello kitchen dwellers, welcome back. I know it has been a long while, so thank you for your patience. I have a number of exciting new contents in the works, which I will be bringing them to you one after another. Much like how I am now skewering onto this onion-based metal tower with layers upon layers of chicken thigh, we are making chicken doner today. Of course, you don't have to use chicken. If you want to use other meat, it's all fine. And we are going to be using a built-in wall rotisserie, whereas this can be done in an oven with rotisserie or on a barbecue. First of all, we're going to be making the chicken marinade for this chicken thigh. And really, you can even just use barbecue sauce if you're kind of lazy or don't have time to. I am trying to stay somewhat close to what chicken doners taste like, so I'll be using a yogurt-based marinade. And the recipe is what I really just put off the internet, so you can go ahead and search doner chicken marinade and you'll be able to find any recipe that works for you. For short, here are the ingredients. After mixing the ingredients together and marinating the chicken for overnight, then we will go back to the previous actions of skewering them onto the same metal tower. Try to keep them centered if you can, please. After every piece is on the skewer, insert them into your rotisserie that is preheated and cook for about one and a half hour to two hours. Now, the one thing that is going to be different here is because we are doing this doner sideways, which means it cannot baste itself like a regular standing up doner. So, we will have to baste for them. And it may be a little bit helpful if you can find any means of capturing the drippings because that will make cleaning so much easier afterwards. As the chicken and everything comes to a safe to consume internal temperature, it is time to take it off the rotisserie and carve for serving. And what else is the best way of eating a doner with freshly toasted pitas, fresh vegetables, tzatziki, and if you have any tabbouleh salad sandy, that'd be great. If not, well, let's just eat it as a wrap. This all seems like a lot of work, but actually is very simple to put together. So when it is safe to do so, why not grab some family, grab some friends, start up your rotisserie either in the wall, in the oven, or in the barbecue, and share a lovely meal together. Hey, it's healthy too because you're eating loads of vegetables, right? Thank you for watching and I hope I was able to improve your home appliance experience. If you found my content helpful, please like, subscribe, and most importantly, share with others who need these info. All of the contents will be categorized by appliance type on my channel for more tips and how-tos. These contents are based on my personal experience and opinion. Mila Limited does not sponsor, support, or dictate any of the contents created here. Social media connections are on the screen as well as some other related videos. Have fun in the kitchen!